Uh. Hi, my name is Vitamin D Stan, and welcome back to some King Koi Golden Time. We left off with eating ramen with the nemesis, nemesis being a yaka. And apparently, she stayed asleep. She fell asleep in Odo's room, which is pretty wild. Anyways, let's get started. Just wait for the realization. Just wait for it. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be good. Oh my, I was not expecting that. Why is he hugging? <laughs> and she's a little spoon. I know that dude's bricked up right now. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Chicken, you're a big girl. So sleep by yourself. It's a little late for that. Bro, just get him off of you, bro. So <laughs> Why is she remembering the pie number? That's the pie number, right? Just when we were getting her out of the whole commoner thing. Alright, that's true. <laughs> I was on the verge of waking up. Something jostled me. But I didn't want to open my eyes. I was sleepy. My brain was eager for some shut-eye after all that homework. Russell, Russell, Russell. Mm. Don't move me. So he's awake? Squeeze? When has there ever been an opening in a position like that? I don't think there ever has been. I've never seen an opening. The only way out is by waking them up. Oh? Slide. Hmm? Did I just hear something? Um, maybe Rhea was awake next door. Well, whatever. Better get some sleep. Bro, is that clueless? No way. That's crazy. Oh, look, you made it without waking him. Nice. I don't understand. Oh, hello, Senpai. Hmm. 
じゃあ、モーニング、アカネちゃん。はい、おはようございますが。What's wrong? いやいやいや、ラジオ体操ですので、はい。じゃあ。She bolted, still looking drowsy. I wonder what was with her. Well, she was a woman with energy to spare. Guess there was nothing new about her being lively. Time to get up. Whoa. My morning wood was more intense than usual. Maybe I should have rubbed one out last night. <laughs> hmm? I couldn't. Nah, I was sure she hadn't noticed. I don't know, man. I think she did. My head wound. Wound? Had healed up and there was no need to bandage it this morning. And perfectly timed to my homework being all wrapped up, too. With that, my ordinary work to break was officially underway. But. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Just some stuff with Rogasaki. f、uh, I regret that late night cup ramen too. Gave me some mild indigestion. Rogasaki senpai to this go? Ah, Kumo senpai no koto, sasocha te in this cane. Why not? I bet she's tired too, though. She seemed like she kept an orderly schedule, so I doubted she'd complain. After everything that happened yesterday, I felt like I could get along with her too. When we headed up for the second, fl second floor to wake her. Two hours? That's terrible. Oh, you were hitting the books all night? What? There was an awful lot of women screaming around me today. Do what? <laughs> Eleven times? Do what? She was shouting a bunch of nonsense. Beats me. It's probably just sleep deprivation. <laughs> anyway, me and the two of us getting along was nothing more than a pipe dream. Hey. Gentle breeze. Don't don't burning the kitchen got the new energy. Raina was invited to radio calisthenics this morning. She tagged along since she was unusually early anyway. She was totally lost cause the moment she stepped out into the freezing morning air. It's definitely way colder out today. So this is me. So this is the end of the day. 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 It's r i g h t to see you here at six in the morning. Hime Samaga, Muriari Honjits Coconi Kuruto Kimetanode, Jizeni Kyoi to Narimonga Naika, Chosamo. Potential threats? When has there ever been a potential threat, Ellie? Imperial Knights had it tough. Ima Kara Rajio Taiso? Ano Kamina Samaga o s h a t e i t o Oh, yeah, the one where she almost messed up her hymen. Oh, yeah, this is all new to you, isn't it? And on that note, an unusual pair joined us. Hey, Kibi Kibi Kuyo. Each me, son, she hatch meets Jin Ja. Each me, son, she honey ginger. Miso, Nico, Miu, Dom. Reina, Atatakai Monoko Hoshino, Wakarukido, Magida was she. Nothing confusing about that, dirty year girl, eh? It appeared even the most base of her exercises consumed all of Reina's willpower and stamina. <laughs> Of course, she would say that. You do seem like the type who enjoys exercise. So, this is coming out of some of the way. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to go to the next
ラジオ体操負荷をかけずに体がよく伸びる機能的で気に入りましたおさんは chock full of energy do you not mind the cold? そうですねソルティゲージの冬はもっと寒いですし冬の晴れ空というのがすでに物珍しくて気分が良いです。Sound like a piece of cake for someone from Northern Europe. The allied hours in the winter sounded desolate in their mountainous country. She looked like she had so much fun just gazing at the blue sky. はい、次は大きく胸をそらす運動。エルさん、zealously looked up into the deep blue sky. Alright. Her large, supple bitties bounced on her chest as she arched backwards. Alright, bro. Alright, bro, you're staring. Nope, I'm impressed you could bend so far back, Kelly san. Fantastic. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stick to forward bending exercises only. Oh, it had happened that morning, but it was finally coming to an end. Ah, Papa? Um, I got my car. Eh? I'm still in the house. I got the car. I'm going to go to the house. 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 We're down on the border. I agree with you. I don't have free time either, you know. I was going to be too busy blazing around. ありがとうございます。先輩。No problem. After I finished saying goodbye to a like minded clad underclassman, excuse me, bam. Front door to the dormitory suddenly slammed open. Dud, 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 dud. And a flood of people in black suits rushed in. Well, what's going on, Ellis san? True enough, it was clear that the people in black and white, who were distinctly Japanese, were not with Ellis san. Many of them even had scars on their faces. Then, they formed a path near the entryway, dusted off their hands and knees, and bowed their heads. My underclassmen walked her way between them. There was a limousine parked outside with a middle aged man inside who bore a shaved head, a face full of scars, and a gaudy necklace around his neck. I need to see how that guy looks like. Once they got in the car and left, the black suits quickly dispersed without ever looking back at us. Hey, Ellison. Do you think they'll be mad if they found out I rolled her up in a blanket like a piece of sushi? Why would you do that, though? I don't get it. Maintaining my distance from her was going to be complicated going forward. Alright. When did he do that, too? Regardless, I could now enjoy the start of my winter break without worrying about homework. Yay. Wait, it was nearly noontime. Time in forever. Welcome back, Mina chan. Mina chan came back with her dislocated hip, all fixed. Dang, Sylvia, I almost forgot you existed. And a certain someone was with her. Hey, Sylvie. Huh? Oh? What's up, Sylvie? Oh? She quickly flipped away. Hmm. Poke, poke. 
Oh, you had them puffed up, so I felt like giving them a puff. See, there you go again. Poke, poke. Are you a puffer fish? Sorry. I got a little carried away. Oh, about that? Ah, uh, sound like she knew I'd picked up the pace once I heard she would be here. She had effectively gone on a wild goose chase, so she might not be in the cheeriest of moods. I'm sorry, I just didn't want to cause you any trouble. Whoops, I shouldn't have said that. Sorry, that's a figure of speech. I thought I wouldn't make any progress on my studies with you here. Was that? Put my hands on either side of her puffed up cheeks. Squish. Wait, I'm telling you, you got the wrong idea. If you're going to all the trouble to visit, there are better things we could do than this study. Ice Queen, I brought your next sacrifice. I let it at the real place. She seized culinary control of the negative 18 degree, the kingdom of frozen foods. That's the Snow Queen, right? It's not like she cooked it from scratch, so the taste is guaranteed. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sorry. Uh oh. Rhea whipped up some frozen food like she had yesterday. Hey, it was done in no time. As an aside, Rhea essentially hated letting anyone into her room. As such, it was just the three of us today. That meant neither Jogasaki nor Ellison would be joining us. Thank God, Ella is always there. We'd become inseparable ever since we were reunited. A noodle feast day? This had to be about the only place where you could use these the pla say placata princess. So we had been served a rather hefty helping, but she happily dug right into it. Good God, don't forget to chew. I guess nobody ever thinks this dish is udon at a glance, huh? Maze soba mo so da kedo. Saikin no men lui no katashi kara mita namae no kategorize te tekito sugiru to mo. Okay, but why that face? I don't get it. Sashite shio yaki soba. How? Oh, 
Right. We quickly jumped into the fray. So we expressed an interest even in the meals that hadn't been cooked yet. Doria and Gretchen are fairly small, so they are best treated as supplements to other foods. I opened that one up as well. Scrumptious. That's such a funny word. <laughs> Scrumptious. Hmm? Oh, God. Her. The scary one. Good God! Ice Queen is getting cleaned out. Ah, that's crazy. But that all sounds really good. Hey, Ria. <laughs> I'd gotten a bad feeling about this. Oh, look at Ella being the mom again. It was about the time Sylvie was satisfied. Rhea's icy pressure vanished. Rio fell to her knees with disappointment. I knew it. The freezer Rhea had been so eager to tidy up heading into the end of the year was utterly cleaned out. All of her frozen food had been devoured. The Ice Queen has fallen the sword of edge, it seems. <laughs> so his stomach was an endless, was as endless as the Cosmo itself. What's more, she was ready to walk off her big lunch. Talk about energetic. Nice. With that, we headed outside. A walk? Or two? Of course, the shut-in would hate going out on a walk. Oh my god. Nag, 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 nag. The three of us strolled around the schoolyard today. Together, clubs weren't in session at this time of year, nor was anyone in the building. Are you a vampire or something? You've been coming here every day in the evening so far, right? Oh? Oh? We were summoned to a place that was of great importance to us. Oh, we learned it is. They secretly discussed something off on their own. Then... Oh, oh God. Please no loud noise. A certain someone flew in and headed for the outlet in the corner of the room. You were hungry too, huh? Man, only 11% left? Shouldn't it charge itself more often? <laughs> it talks? What? I know, but I forget. <laughs> Wait, what? 
That's funny. Hold on, I want to hear that again. <laughs> mm. I let my phone die all the time, so I'm in no position to complain. What the freak? This is the most dialogue we've ever gotten out of Kudo. You said it. So we... <laughs> Since when did this thing learn how to talk? <laughs> what? That's crazy. <laughs> you got chat GPT in Kudo too. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. It's so stupid. <laughs> I'm begging you. Please don't start independently evolving those sorts of abilities that will lead to purging the earth. <laughs> that's actually cool though. <laughs> we just had a conversation with Kido. Hmm? Sound like they were through chatting. I couldn't read Sylvie since she was her usual smiley self, but Ria looked bothered. Something up? What's going on? I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's a cricket in my room that's been in the same spot and I haven't been able to find it for the past week almost. So all that to say, I have a new roommate and it does not pay for rent, which is pretty unfair. But if you could hear that, I apologize for that. I wish I could stop it, but bro just chirping. So, nothing I could do about it. <laughs> you know what? But the chirps of crickets don't really bug me. I kind of kind of like it. I don't know why. I'm not sure what it is about crickets chirping. Even though it's kind of close to my bed. Mm-hmm. Stop. Stop. Eh, why? She blushed and looked angry for some reason. I couldn't complain with her. When, with her, blah, 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 blah. I couldn't complain when she made faces like that. But what the heck? Huh? Why? It was cold out there. Thanks, I'll leave, but I'm curious why you said it that way. Was she embarrassed about something? She was acting really weird all of a sudden, and her comments were spicier than usual. Cute. <laughs> That's a wild thing to say. <laughs> Poor thing. Well, now that I know you're gonna do that, then I, I have even less of a reason to leave. Okay, time to leave. She dragged me outside. <laughs> what in the world is Rio's deal? Oh man, I could still hear Rhea and Sylvie whispering to one another from inside the concert hall. Um, something or other about a Christmas party. Were they planning some sort of surprise? Guess I'd better play along then. Want to wander around some? In the end, the son ended up wandering around campus. Is Sylvie going to be okay after skipping work today? That sounds rough. Other son said that nonchalantly. Well, in terms of quantity, it was true enough that Sylvie's schedule was way more jam packed. Compared to Sylvie's happy go lucky nature, it seemed like the ever courageous Elisan always had her hands full. Oh, one more thing too. If I do seem a little quieter or tamed more than usual is because it is currently 8.30 at night and I'm trying to be mindful of the people around me in the house trying to sleep. So it's one of those late 
night recordings, which is why I kind of prefer at day. But I feel like recording at night just has a different vibe, you know, and I feel more energized for some reason. Even though during the day I'm always like, oh, I'm tired. Then it's nighttime and I'm like, oh yeah, let's go build a whole 10,000 Lego piece. Set. Not that I have done, by the way. Strict? Oh yeah. True, but Jogosaki helped out a lot and we managed to get it all done in time. Huh?成績。D判定だったそうですね。さすがにDはどうかと思いますよ。Is it really unbecoming of me though? Ugh. Oh yeah, that was the the crew, the crew, the crux, the crew of the conversation. I don't know. Getting through my homework wasn't the end of it. The goal was for me to buckle down and get my act together. Uh, Ellison, save me. いちまつどのの勉強への無関心は私も気になっていました。とはいえ、姫様のお客人と会って私の口からうるさく言うのも友達です。彼なる様がおっしゃるなら、習慣を変えるのに良い機会ではないでしょうか。She same. Ellison was the sort of person who would have loved to chime in the moment my report card labeled me just that. Okay. Still, the fact she wasn't naggy was a saving grace. That's right. <laughs> Taken? How so? That's how it looks to you? Eh? Taken with me. Huh. Yeah, I doubt anyone who disliked me wouldn't have stayed overnight just to meddle. Yeah? I wouldn't have to do that. Uh, sure. What kind of request was that? I pondered on it for a moment, but... Oh god, I don't think I do. I'm sorry. It's been a while. Uh, yeah. I'm lying, by the way. The internal state of affairs in Sortilage? I heard about it in passing before. The Sortilage royal family is the orchestral faction, and the prime ministers are split into the night faction. Right? Princesses were in the orchestral faction and excelled in entertainment. Sylvie with her piano and Minachan on ballet. They were profoundly knowledgeable about matters related to the arts. On the flip side, their guards were part of the Knight faction. They excelled in martial arts and were entrusted as their protectors while simultaneously serving in their country's bureaucracy. The orchestral faction was more highly ranked, but their bodyguards, the Knight faction, were left 100% in charge of ensuring their physical security. Both parties were tasked with tending to the politics of their country, built upon a superb relationship of mutual trust. Alright, I know now. Contrary to how superb the relationship was, to interact on a personal level was a touchy subject. <coughs> Dang, I would be too. Kaminari-sama,とも対等に付き合える。でも、あの方がシルビー様に付き添って日本に来ただけ。けれど、できればシルビー様と同じくらいに日本での生活を楽しんでいただきたいのです。Minachan's doing just fine on her own. でしょうね。それはわかっています。だからあなたに。Ellison gave me a mischievous wink. Oh man, she was asking for the moon. I'll do what I can, I guess. It's not like I knew how to satisfy that request. But it made me happy when Minachan smiled almost as much as when I saw Sobe do the same. Sure. <laughs> You really do watch over everyone, don't you, Ellison? 
護衛者として洞察力が働かせているつもりですが。Oh, I know so. Is insight the right word? More like. Hmm. You're like everyone's big sister or mother. お姉ちゃん。まあ、一人年上ですから、そういうところもあるかもしれないです。知るの、妹にあたるこのことですし。Hmm? She whispered the last part too quietly to hear, which of course we already know. At least us. What do you think of Mina chan as a woman? Enough time had passed, so I asked her that on the way back to the concert hall. So, this is me. She took it to the Yeba. Gampeki. The Shoka. Ah, that's Cap. That is Cap. How enlightening. Ketten to Yobel Ketten and Miyatarima Sen. Oh no, there's for sure some shortcomings. I tell you, Nara, Jishin no Ketten or Darenimo Saturasenai. So no Ayao Sakosoma, Ketten to Mokrai. I could see that. It was true that she was flawless, but she was still childish in a lot of ways. While I didn't think I had any right to be conceited, part of me did want to watch over her for whatever reason. That's how she was. Come to think of it, you may be similar to her in that sense. So the shoko. I think so. You could say Alison was just as perfect as Mina chan. When it came to studies, athletics, personality, and of course even appearance, there wasn't a single flawed aspect of her to be found. With that said, the only flaw I could come up with was that she needed to work on interacting with the opposite sex on a more intimate level. However, it wasn't a negative by any means, as many men found that to be a very redeeming quality. Yep, they sure do, huh? I believe she was a perfect knight. <clears throat> well, I figured you'd say that. Drink water, you're looking dry. <sighs> that water hits. And that side of you is part of it, too. Hey, Sylvie. Rhea? I knocked on the door to the concert hall. Had they finished what they were up to? As I wondered. <laughs> Hmm? I headed inside the find. <sighs> the entire concert hall was shrouded in a comfortable timbre. Timbre. Oh, yes. Sure. The son didn't know much about Maria Bishop, but she was left dazed. I heard the singing voice countless times on YouTube myself, but it really was different live. So much, in fact, that the idea was coming from Maria's mouth still felt strange to me. There were a few more days until the Christmas party, and I guess she was fully ready for it. Whenever the Christmas thing comes up, I'm already assuming that it's coming to an end. So now with this game, I'm wondering, I wonder how this is going to end. I don't know how, how many routes or I even thought at some point, whether well, this game is a lot shorter than the other one. I guess I'll just have to find out when I bravo clap, clap, clap. <laughs> she quickly reverted back to her usual sassy self. Dang, I wish she would have exuded that mystical Maria ambiance a little longer. Then again, it would have bugged me if she'd done that with her normal blonde hair and Rhea's face. My bad. Practice or not, I thought it was perfect. Seriously. What? <laughs> <laughs> オンガコを聞くの自体は好きなのよね。そうですね。聞くだけでこんな気持ちになるのはシルビー様のピアノの時だけとばかり驚きです。そうでしょ。素敵でしょ、マリアビショップは。ちっ。They're posing reactions to being
earnestness and Ryu's contrarian attitude were quite amusing. Oh no, don't sing. <laughs> Look like Galisana would be singing next. Singer so cheery was kind of a rarity. Well, no matter who sang. I like how they don't even like put an audio for her singing. <laughs> <laughs> the speaker is not out of order. What? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> For her, it's like doing drugs. Look at her laughing like that. See, she's definitely high. <laughs> Rio's about to kill herself. <laughs> what? Rio! So dramatic. Crap, she's losing it. Hey, stop singing. It's killing her. <laughs> Oh god. So dramatic. Stop! Don't kill Maria Bishop with your terrible singing. Ellison. Maybe she wasn't perfect after all. She's not. She definitely is not. Yeah. Just yeah. So we another sound left. One hundred percent. True, but the dorm's pretty empty as it is. The dorm grew emptier with each person who left for home. There were less than ten people left at the dorm, including me, Ria, Reina, and Akane-chan. And oh, right, Jogosaki, my injury's all better now. What is it? I that right? Well, I'm all healed up, so you can go visit home anytime. She had originally postponed her visit home out of concern for my injury. Are you supposed to leave at a specific time? It was a genuine question. But Oh god. Alright. I thought things left off on a pretty good note yesterday. But she was being nasty again today. Women made no sense to me. <laughs> she was behaving as she usually did when interacting with Ria. You're cleaning? Oh, I guess you had your hands full helping me with my homework, huh? Really? I really did put you out, didn't I? I know. Why don't I help you clean? Hi? If you don't mind me in your room, I can at least put in some manual labor. <laughs> Saw that coming. Why is she being so weird? Hot and bothered? Oh, I could. T I, I, I know you'd be hot. I know you'd be hot. Huh? <laughs> right. Uh, the first thing you said was kind of weird, and I'm not even going to comment on the second thing. What kind of person do you take me for? Shut up. Why would you bring that up now? That's all this was. <laughs> oh my god, I could imagine. <laughs> hey, you promised not to use the erogi you saw before as jokes against me. 
That was a vulgar subject and made Jogasaki snap. <laughs> okay. She got ticked off and headed upstairs to the second floor. Alright. Alright, alright. What can I tell you? I bet you would like that, huh? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> we definitely made him mad. And horny. Well, setting all of that aside. Horny. Are you done cleaning up your room a bit? I could lend a hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. The place is always clean. I hope that she didn't own much, but there wasn't a single trace of dust or tar from her cigarette to speak of. You know what? It doesn't matter how clean you are. Did you guys know that your skin is constantly shedding? And all that dust that's in walls or curtains and stuff, it's not necessarily just dirt. It's also your skin cells. Isn't that nasty? Clean your room. Maybe she liked to clean more than she let on? Or so I thought. Mm. Wow, I was totally off. Not happening. I'd be more than happy to help out if the room is generally clean to begin with, but you couldn't pay me to get anywhere near your room. Absolutely. She let me in a room once to return a manga, but it was an absolute pixie. <laughs> Nah, dirty's not the word. I didn't really see much dust last time. A Roompa? She's a hoarder, that's all there is to it. When she started cleaning, she was the disorderly type to shove everything in a room under her bed or otherwise. Then when she finished cleaning, she put it all back where it originally came from. Even if I tried to help her clean, she would wind up forcing me to move around heavy stuff. Worse yet, everything will likely go back in the way it was later that same day. Talk about a waste of time. She was the one I, person I refused to help. Frugal? Frugality is an occupational disease of being a commoner. We reached the conclusion that most suited this storm. Great conclusion. By the way, I was all done cleaning up my room. Minuchan insisted I clean during my study breaks, so it was as clean as it could be. You start to think of the cardboard boxes like furniture after a while. There were adult goods in there anyway, so I wasn't especially worried about it. Now then, putting all that aside for a moment? Sure. Your Majesty, what shall we eat tonight? Unfortunately. Rip the Ice Kingdom. Yeah. The invasion by Sortilege's ninth princess had left Ria's frozen food kingdom in ruin. Put another way, Ria didn't have anything to reheat for dinner tonight. Canned sardines? As long as you're fine with cup noodles. <sighs> I love onigiri. So good! No dice. We ended up having dinner together. Does fatty chicken broth flavor work for you? Did he even make cup noodles without cloudy broth? Pretty much all of them have a layer of oil. If we're going to open two cans, it'd be great if we could just punch it up a little. Can you think of anything else good we could put on it? I feel like I've seen a bunch of suggestions online. She washed off the sardines she removed from the can and grabbed the salty sweet oodle sauce like seasoning. I should have garlic. We dressed it with some mild seasoning. And then... Mayo is the best. No, it's not. I could tolerate mayo, but mayo is not the best. With that, dinner was finally ready. 
I wasn't really a fan of eating cup noodles two days in a row, but I wasn't about to complain when I had such cute company. Time to dig in. <sighs> Ryo seemed too sluggish to stand and stayed seated after finishing Ryo. I was stuffed. Likewise, I didn't feel like doing anything. Want to watch a movie or something? Is it the same dang movie? Please put a different one. Hmm. A few French films. We'll go with a Hollywood movie then. Oh, I know. Do you remember the one we watched the other day? I just got the sequel. Yes, ma'am. Oh, look! It's that one position again. Nice. Very, very nice. I didn't think I'd see this again, you know? At least in this game, like... You'd think it'd be completely different, or a little different, but no. It's the same one as the last game. We watched the movie together. We were watching an American-made film with lots of flashy explosions and cars falling over. Even with her horrible eyesight, movies with back-to-back -back explosions seemed easier for her to see. I had a Japanese dub so she could tell what was going on too. Yeah, every black, female, and Indian actress portrayed as infallible and some Asian character always has to swoop in to randomly save the day. LGBT matters are a complicated topic these days. Unlike in the 90s, when you could build a pipe just by bragging about how much gunpowder you used, a lot of stuff uses CGI nowadays. In fact, the explosions are getting more realistic now, with less flames and more of an impact that sends everyone flying. Since that shows off CG technology better. Gunpowder can't really compete with CGI technology these days, since they can depict the best explosions with minimal effort. There's nothing really wrong with CGI. See, they've got all sorts of parts flying off from that car just now. So you were going to complain then. When all was said and done, we watched quietly. It was nice just kicking back and hanging out together like this. Actually, maybe comfortable was the more appropriate word for it. The movie worked perfectly for that. I love movies. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Just kind of happened, I guess. Sequels are just inevitable. Ah, interesting that we're talking about sequels since we have a second game here. You could say that for the first game too. Kind of. I mean, I'd imagine the production team was the one who made that call. Sequels tend to bring in big bucks and it helps advertise their original movie too. Ouch. Well, the first movie tends to focus on one major plot, while the sequel is a lot of fourth wall breaking jokes, right? You're already attached to the characters at that point, so you may as well move away from the heavy stuff and go for easy laughs. We periodically dabbled in deep conversation until the end of the movie. That sounds so nice. I like the vibe between those two. Is it almost Christmas? Yep, it's almost Christmas. Oh boy. Man, I can't wait to see how this turns out. But I gotta wrap it up. It's time Senpai. for bed. Senpai. You know what? I thought today was gonna be a short video, but I ended up recording for almost an hour anyways. Which is great, you know, because it's not too late, and I will get my sleep, and I won't be tired for work. So, it all worked out in the end. It, it worked out for you, the viewer. It worked out for me. It worked out for my sleep schedule. It all worked out. But with that being said, I have to wrap it up. Unfortunately, ready save number six. Oh boy. <laughs> there it is. It's the laugh. That's what I was waiting for.
man. I was not expecting his laugh in the title or in the, you know, the, you know what I mean? I cannot say right now. I don't know why. But anyways, this was a really good episode. I feel like a lot happened and quite a bit did happen and I can't even recall all of it, but I know that quite a bit happened and I really enjoyed this episode. It wasn't anything too crazy, but it was very interesting nonetheless. And I, there was definitely some giggles for sure. I need to point out Ayaka saying all of that out loud was pretty wild. What she said about Ichi or Oro. <laughs> I was really thrown off by that. But obviously not surprised. Not too surprised at least. But with that being said, I think that's all I got to say about this episode. It was a good episode though. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you did, hit that like. And if you have not subscribed, fix that right now. Please. Thank you. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video as always. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all stay safe. And until next time, fellas.